artists who destroyed their careers in seconds. Off the real, everybody thinks about the baby. Me personally, I don't think he destroyed his career. I feel like he slowed it down. Because he still he still get decent views. He's still getting the streams. Uh, whether y'all like it or not, he's still selling out shows, just not in the United States. <laughs> but hey, money is money. It don't it don't matter where you get it from. And uh I got a couple other names that I could probably come up with, but based off this thumbnail right here, I'm curious to see. What these people did. I can't remember what CeeLo Green did. Macklemore. I think I remember kind of what Macklemore did. We finna get into it, man. 19 minutes. Let's get it. These artists' careers were never the same after one incident. Whether it was from their own terrible decisions or a minor misstep that got blown out of proportion. Today we are going to discuss them all starting with Macklemore, who leaked a text message that made everyone question what they thought they knew about him. In 2012 oh, and 2013, you could not go anywhere without hearing the song Thrift Shop. Far from your typical rap song, Macklemore flexed $20 and had suburban moms dancing to his funky saxophone. This song spent six weeks at number one on the- Thrift Shop, I'm, hey, I'm gonna react to that. I don't think I, I don't think I heard that, bro. Billboard Hot 100, Mac had one hit wonder written all over him. He carried the most stereotypical white rapper image that is perceived as corny by hip hop culture, oh, but he proved everyone wrong with his second hit, Can't Hold Us, which spent five weeks what? at the number Billion one spot. Views. This track was definitely more of a standard pop track, but two Billboard number ones in his first year as a mainstream artist stamped that he was a force. Hey, whether you like it or not, a billion views, nigga, that ain't, that ain't luck. Whether you like it or not, that's not luck. It, it ain't too many artists that got a billion views, bro. To be reckoned with. However, it was all about to come crashing down, as Macklemore would suffer from success. At the 2014 annual Grammy Awards, Macklemore was nominated in seven categories. God, the biggest me? and most prestigious being Best Rap Album and Best Rap Song. After winning Best Rap Performance and Best New Artist, people were happy to see him win two Grammys. Nominated for Best Rap Song up against Drake, Kanye West, Jay-Z, it seemed unlikely Macklemore would win, but Thrift Shop was in fact the winner of Best Rap Song of 2014, securing what? him his third Grammy of the night. But what would come next would shock the world. Up against oh. Drake's Nothing Was The Same, Jay-Z's Magna Carta. Oh Lord, boy he beat some heavy hitters. This is one of Drake's best albums right here, nigga. The world. Up against Drake's nothing. That is one of Drake's best albums right there, man. Was the same. Jay-Z's Magna Carta, Kendrick oh. Lamar's Good Kid Mad City, oh, and Lord. Kanye West Yeezus. Macklemore had absolutely no chance of winning. Everyone was betting on Kendrick since he without a doubt had the best album of the bunch, but wouldn't be entirely surprised if it went to the other nominees. The hip hop community was floored when Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's The Heist won best rap album of the huh? year. The Heist couldn't ain't be a no more way. fitting name. Ain't no way. I ain't, ain't no way. Bro, I, bro, I, bro, I don't know if I just don't care about the Grammys, but ain't no way. How the hell Kendrick didn't win that? What? What? Aim for this absolute robbery. Macklemore was being cooked by the hip hop community online, oh. reminding him in every comment section that he didn't deserve to win. He felt so much pressure that he decided to text Kendrick Lamar and apologize. You got robbed. Oh, Lord. Oh, why, nigga? Why? You won. Move on, nigga. They can't take it away from you. What'd he say? He say, I'm going to let him read it and apologize. You got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was gonna say that during the speech. Then the music started playing during my speech and I froze. Anyway, you know what it is. Congrats on this year and your music. Appreciate you as an artist and as a friend. Much love. We wouldn't have ever seen this text if Macklemore didn't post it to social media, which made it even worse and looked like he was just trying to get in the good graces with the public. Did you ever feel any way about him posting the text message or anything like that? Yeah, I think it was uncalled for, to 
B one hundred. Yeah, it, it was. That's that's weird, bro. That that's weird. Like, I'm I'm trying to figure out, nigga, why? Why would you? If you text it, text it. But why post? Why post that, nigga? Like he said, bro, was just trying to get in good with the public. You ain't even have to go do all that, bro. What you um, mm. when he sent it to me, I was like, okay, you know, I can see him feeling that type of way because he a good dude, but um. I think for for confirmation from the world, you know, he probably felt like he had to put it out there, which he didn't need to do. He didn't need to do it, exactly, don't bro. Don't take nothing away from him anyway, because I know where his heart is at. He cool. Despite Kendrick being cordial and saying that Macklemore meant well, hip hop fans could never truly accept Macklemore as a part of the culture. They thought he was disingenuous, and they didn't really like his music in the first place. I ain't even gonna lie. As far as being part of the culture. I don't even know who this nigga is still after all this. <laughs> Real talk. I, now, I heard the name for sure. I ain't going to sit here and, and act like I never heard his name. I heard his name before. But as far as his music, I don't. Like I said, I'm going to check it out. But I don't know who this nigga is place so this was an easy excuse to forget about him he stepped out of the limelight and many people suggest his music was never as ambitious ever again he felt guilt and that guilt ate him alive his 2016 album this unruly mess i made sold just 61,000 copies in the first Ooh. week him and ryan lewis split up shortly after and mac released another solo album gemini that did decent amongst his fan base but ultimately he hasn't had any major mainstream success in almost a decade but unlike God. Macklemore, DaBaby refused to apologize to anyone, which is ah, leading to one of the dumbest- Ah, my dog, man, here we go. This is really why I clicked on the video. I wanted to see what they had to say. I want to see what people think. Because me personally, he, he slowed his career down tremendously by uh, his comments that he made. But he, didn't, he, he still got his core fan base downfalls of all time. Baby exploded onto the mainstream rap scene in 2019 with his hit song, Shug, Shug which peaked at number seven on the Billboard Hot 100. Golly. In a world of repetitive melodic trap, DaBaby felt fresh and exciting, providing us with bouncy and fun bangers. He dominated for the next two years, constantly having multiple singles on the Billboard Hot 100, and he was in regular rotation on the radio. Facts. His track, Rockstar with Roddy Rich was the number one song for seven weeks. You cannot turn on the radio and not hear this song. Back when back when this dropped and the baby was on top of the world, number one artist in the world, you cannot turn on the radio and not hear this song 30 times. Nigga, real talk. Straight. And I don't even listen to the radio. But you know how the radio play before you put in your ox? Nigga, this song used to be on every time. If it won't this, it was Drake. A very tough thing to do as a hip hop artist, but DaBaby was always known for having a bold personality. He was the type to say whatever he wanted, and if you had a problem, he was more than willing to handle it. He even killed a guy in Walmart. Don't worry, it was self defense. I, I, yeah, I do well, all in July that. of 2021, on the stage of Rolling Loud, his loose lips got him in major trouble. Maybe some that he can't recover from. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases. It'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like the up. Why, nigga? Lady, if your pussy smell like water, put a cell phone like the up. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Oh, oh why, bro? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I get what he was saying, but, bro, it was still uncalled for. I, I got to be a real nigga at all times. You can't, you can't be a real nigga sometimes. The baby, you ain't, you you said it, bro. <laughs> Why, man? Why? It's, it's pointless. It's pointless. Why? Like I feel like you was. I know. I, I understand you was trying to get the interaction from the crowd, but nigga, you said the completely, nigga. You said the worst possible, nigga. Completely unprovoked and for no reason at all, DaBaby was thinking about gay men and what they do in their free time while he was on stage performing. He referred to people with AIDS as dirty and will likely die soon from the illness. Both statements are categorically and factually untrue. The clip was shared onto the internet and sent millions of people into an uproar. DaBaby Man. addressed this on his Instagram and clarified his message. I wasn't going on no rant. That's called a call to action. That's what that's called, because I'm a live performer. I'm the best live performer. I'm the live show killer. 
You interact with your fans. You get what I'm saying? I get that part. Look, all the lights went up gay straight. You want to know why? Because even my gay fans don't got fucking AIDS, stupid ass niggas. Him Shouldn't have said that either, nigga. <laughs> this nigga made it worse. He got on there to clarify, nigga, you made it worse. He say, bro, then he still, bro, oh my God, man. <sighs> Straight, you want to know why? Because even my gay fans don't got fucking AIDS, stupid ass niggas. Him doubling down on his comments made everything way worse. Exactly. As he clearly was very uneducated on the AIDS disease and the unfair stigmas that come with it. And although he eventually issued an apology addressing that That's LGBTQ not him. community, he had made countless contradictory statements after. He tried to profit off the controversy in music videos and even kind of redacted his own apology. If I say what I say to get people to raise their cell phones and it's misinterpreted by people who watch a five second clip at home, you're not supposed to understand what's going on. You couldn't raise your cell phone if you wanted to. So you ain't supposed to be able to digest a clip, uh, you know what I'm saying? A clip that's been altered and, and shortened with a narrative to go along with it with enough people driving and it's going to do what it do. From here, he got kicked off every major festival in 2021 every that festival. he was supposed to perform at. And even when he did perform, he was booed and had garbage thrown at him. A-list celebrities and fellow collaborators condemned him. But the controversy continued. He got into fights, tormented and broke down the mother of his child on Instagram. That 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 right there, the, the comments he made at Rolling Loud, that snowballed everything. But this right here, this situation right here, when they say he kicked her out, her her and the baby, no, no point intended. But look, this situation right here made it, oh my God. Like he lost probably like 80% of his female fans with this. With this right here, it was it got bad. Tried to kiss one of his fans without consent. DaBaby was oh, not what? trying to save face. He just kept saying, I'm sorry for being me. His ticket sales plummeted, which resorted to him offering buy one, get one free deals to <laughs> fill out the venues. One report alleged Golly. that he only sold 500 tickets to a venue that holds 14,000 people, and he claims to have lost $30 million because of the controversy. What, what were the a week or two though? after? 20, $30 million, $20, $30 million oh. that I would have had before the ball dropped. 2021 so this happened and a lot of people think he was capping like nah dead ass y'all gotta think these rappers get paid like oh uh, some of these niggas get five six hundred thousand a show real if, even if you ain't that hot you getting probably like 100 100k at least if you got any type of hit out you at least get the 100k you gotta think the baby was getting booked like he was, he was finna go on tour. He had the number one song in the world. Couldn't even tour because of all this. Rolling out with July, I had thirty million dollars worth of shows on the schedule before Crazy. Uh, December thirty first. All he had to say was, "Put your hands in the air if you just don't care." And all of this could have been avoided. Facts, if you think man. what the baby said was bad, you'll be horrified by what CeeLo Green said in what a series of questionable Cee tweets. If you don't remember the name CeeLo Green or his ah. previous duo Gnarls Barkley, you definitely remember his two most iconic songs, Crazy and Forget You. Crazy hey, peaked guys, at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and spent 29 weeks on the chart. Golly. Forget You, which he released solo four years later, also went number two on the Hot 100 after spending almost a full year on the charts. CeeLo had a very unique voice and was undeniably talented. He pretty much only gave us two hits, but was an ever-present pop culture f Hey, this nigga CeeLo a funny looking dude, boy. <laughs> this nigga got the perfect head to be bald. <laughs> this nigga head is per perfectly symmetrical to, to have a bald head, nigga. Ain't no way. <laughs> this nigga head look like a thumb. 
impeccably talented. He pretty much only gave us two hits, but was an ever-present pop culture figure throughout the early 2010s. Whether he was hosting an award show, his own reality show, voice acting, or being a judge on The Voice, CeeLo was loved and appreciated. Until some shocking allegations what, arose. What you did, CeeLo you know? was accused by a 33-year-old woman he dined with at a downtown Los Angeles sushi restaurant of placing ecstasy, also known as MDMA oh, or Molly, no. in her drink. The woman later told Los Angeles police detective she woke up naked in bed in her hotel room with Green. CeeLo allegedly admitted to law enforcement that he took ecstasy, but denied drugging the woman's drink or committing sexual assault. CeeLo's sexual assault oh, charges no. were dropped after prosecutors concluded there wasn't enough evidence to to take that accusation to court, but he was found guilty on drug charges, which landed him three years probation. But it wasn't the nature of the charges that ruined his career. It's what he said on Twitter after the case. What was this nigga? After being criticized why, by- Why, bro? Why do, why do y'all do- Why do these niggas do that, bro? Y'all y'all get in the clear and y'all go make it worse. It's ego, bro. It's ego, I'm telling you. It's these niggas' ego. Nigga, be quiet, nigga. You making the hole deeper for you, man. Come on, man. <sighs> Bro, you got found not guilty. You innocent of the sexual assault charges. You still got the drug charges. But like he said, that ain't what ruined you. You want to get on Twitter and say, I don't know what. We finna find out. Why, nigga? Just be quiet, man. There wasn't enough evidence to take that accusation to court, but he was found guilty on drug charges, which landed him three years probation. But it wasn't the nature of the charges that ruined his career, it's what he said on Twitter after the case. After being criticized by people in public <sighs> tweets, he decided to respond. Women who have really been R-worded, remember, but point taken. Upgrade your vocal mix from this? How can we- What? 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 What is you talking about? Oh, nah. This nigga, bro, this nigga deserve to fall off. This, it, saying that dumb, man, ain't no way. Ain't no way CeeLo said that, bro. Ain't no way this so nigga this stupid, bro. Ain't no way this nigga this stupid. It's no way. Ain't no way. Why? Women who have really been R-worded remember, but point taken. So if I tried but did not succeed, but the person said I did, then what really happened? When someone breaks in a home, there is what? broken. What, nigga? What? Oh my God! Oh Lord! No, no, bro. Oh my God! Nigga, is is you stupid, Silo? Is you stupid? Class, where is your plausible proof anyone was R-worded? If someone passed out, they're not even with you consciously. So with implies consent. It's hard to see what point he was trying to make what? here, but the blogs were not holding back. CeeLo, it's not rape if you forget. CeeLo Green, what? it isn't rape if the victim is unconscious. After these tweets, what? his reputation was destroyed. <laughs> he lost all of his live performance bookings. He quit The Voice to avoid being fired. His no TV way. show was canceled, and he basically disappeared from the pop culture zeitgeist, pretty much surviving off royalties and small film roles here and there. But I guess him and I are friends now? Yo, Pat, what's up, man? Uh, I'm assuming that your friends call you Pat. My friends do call me Pat. What? So. And um, I consider myself to be one of your friends. I consider myself to be one of your friends. The next person on our list lost her career from something that was totally out of her control. In fact, it may have even been a setup. Janet Jackson is a woman who needs no introduction. She is the youngest of the nine iconic Jackson family siblings. Although she was not a part of the original Jackson 5, she would go on to have a massive solo music career. Jackson signed the first of two record-breaking multi-million dollar contracts with Virgin Records, establishing her as one of the highest paid artists in the industry. She was named by Billboard magazine in the 90s as the second most successful- This nigga just said she don't need an introduction and proceeds to tell us everything about Jenna Jackson. <laughs> 
or recording artist of the decade in the United States after Mariah Carey. I get it, Over no, bro, 100 I get it. million records sold, 10 Billboard number one songs, 27 top 10 hits. She is easily the most successful artist on this list, which is why her downfall is even more tragic. The Super Bowl in America is always the most watched televised program every year, with an average of around 100 million people watching the game. The halftime show has historically been a major milestone in an artist's career. As if you don't remember this, you're just too young. If you don't know what he about to talk about, you're just too young, bro. It is the biggest stage they will likely ever be on. In 2004, Janet Jackson was asked to do the show, but not by herself, which was surprising since she easily had enough hits to do a full set. Instead, she only JT. got to perform two of her songs. The other time was filled out by Justin Timberlake, Diddy, Nelly, Kid Rock, and Jessica Simpson. The very last song of the performance was Justin's hit song, Rock Your Body, in which Janet assisted him. The two met at the center of the stage to pose for the grand finale. Justin reaches across Janet's body and pulls off the chest piece of her costume, exposing her breast to 90 million people. The wardrobe malfunction is considered the biggest controversy in televised history. This oh incident was actually the inspiration for YouTube because of the difficulty finding footage to rewatch online. Now, to some degree, this was planned. Justin's intention was to pull the leather piece off her chest and expose the red underneath but he ripped too much. In the split second the camera was on Janet, you can see her look down in shock. She tried to cover herself while Timberlake stood holding the ripped pieces of her costume and bra. That is <laughs> Yo. No, it, it, it bro. It, ah. Man, y'all just could have posed. Y'all ain't have to do no ripping, no nothing, man. No nothing. Y'all ain't have to do none of that. This nigga ripped too much. Didn't y'all practice this? Didn't y'all practice this? So how will you do the actual live performance? You ripped too much. Man, ain't no way. The FCC received more than 500,000 complaints after the performance. CBS was fined $550,000, and the halftime sponsor AOL demanded a return of the $10 million advertising cost they paid to the NFL. God. Justin apologized, MTV apologized, Janet apologized, even though she later regretted it because it was an accident. The media went into an all-out frenzy. The FCC investigated the halftime show to see if this was a planned media stunt meant to shock the world. Citing that because she was wearing a nipple covering, that was evidence this was all set up. Class action lawsuits were filed against Janet by random oh, citizens, huh? claiming that her sexually explicit performance deserved maximum punitive damages. Every talk show host in the nation dragged her. Viacom had to pay out $3.5 million to settle various indecency complaints. God. So they went and banned all radio and TV stations that they owned from playing any of Janet Jackson's music. Janet was blackballed from the music industry over an accident, and Justin was not punished at all even though it was definitely his fault. There is no doubt her punishment was unfair and likely due- What, nigga, what, what? Bro, what kind of sense do that make? Oh my God. Why? How y'all counsel her? Did She didn't pull a titty out. It, this nigga did. And it, I, now now that I'm, I'm watching this and hearing, hearing about it again, Nothing happened to Justin Timberlake. Nothing happened to this nigga. This nigga was doing all type of interviews, dropping music, all everything. That's crazy. Due to her gender and race. Her career after that wasn't totally dismantled. She did have a number one album, a Grammy nomination, some light billboard presence, but this incident lingered like a dark cloud over her head for many years, and slowly she faded out of the mainstream. Damn. I am one of those women Women who have been gagged, both literally and emotionally. Women who have been abused. Women who have been intimidated. Women who have lived in fear. I stand with you. You are my sisters. However, today, most people can all agree that this was just an overreaction, and she is still highly regarded as one of the most iconic pop stars of all time. Overreacting to small Definitely mistakes seemed to be common in the early 2000s, because this next artist's career was destroyed by something so small, it's almost unbelievable. 
Ashley Simpson was the younger sister of the already famous pop star Jessica Simpson. Who I, I, I don't think I remember this right here. <clears throat> I don't think I remember this was a multi-platinum billboard charting recording artist. She also had her own MTV show, Newlyweds, Nick and Jessica, was one of the most popular programs on the network. MTV wanted to capitalize on the Simpsons sisters' newfound fame and gave Ashley her own series called The Ashley Simpson Show. I the series that. ran for two seasons and aired every week on MTV directly after Jessica's show. Viewers who were invested in Jess were introduced to Ashley immediately after. Ashley was desperate to not live in the shadows of her sister. She dyed her naturally blonde hair Brown and built a pop punk image to complement her pop rock music. Her album's lead single, Pieces of Me, became an instant hit mm. in the United States. The song peaked at number five on the US Billboard Hot 100 Ooh, and sold over 500,000 copies nationwide. Yeah. Ashley's debut album was released soon after, with an estimated 398,000 copies sold in its first week. Worldwide, the album sold more than 5 million copies. She yeah, had a bigger debut me. than her sister, but her career ended just before it took off. Saturday Night Live 2004. Ashley Simpson was set to perform her single Pieces of Me hold up, hold when up. this happened. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think, I think I know. If a scammer gets on your system, they're gonna live on there. They'll go through things like your photos, on your browser, your email. I, I think, I think I remember, hold up. Monday, I'm You might be kind of confused as to what happened. Basically, the backing vocals started playing before Ashley expected them, as it was her intention to lip sync her performance. But instead of trying to catch up to the song, she stood there in a panic, then hit this extremely awkward jig dance twice before ultimately exiting the stage without saying anything. The show cut to commercial, and when it came back, she blamed her band. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Live TV. Exactly. I feel so bad my band started playing the wrong song, and I know what to do, so I thought I'd do a hoedown. <laughs> If she just told the truth right away, she may have been able to avoid the backlash. But instead, Ashley became a laughing stock. What? That is terrible! Bruh, imagine this happened now. Yo, the internet so bad now. Oh my God. They will meme the mess out of this now. Oh my goodness. Y'all don't even understand how bad they go on now, bruh. Even news anchors poked fun at her. Sister's performance on Saturday Night Live was, well, out of sync, you could say. All right, sorry, we had to do that. <laughs> it was just our own little lip syncing adventure. We were mocking her. At just 19, she was publicly ridiculed by the world. And this is, is all crazy. especially ridiculous considering today's standards are much lower. It almost feels like lip syncing isn't even a real thing. You see who they show? You see who they show? considering today's standards are much lower. It almost feels like lip syncing isn't even a real thing anymore. Half of my favorite artists at their live shows just let the song play, jump around, and yell random ad libs. Even though Ashley was a decent performer, and she did have an opportunity to redeem herself on various late night shows, nobody cared. Nobody wanted to give her a second chance. It was too much fun to make jokes and boo her off stage. She did have a moderate comeback with her single Boyfriend in 2005, and her second album eventually selling 3 million copies worldwide, but she had already seen the peak of her music career, and as it slowly dwindled away, she maintained her relevance in the 2010s through relationships, various television projects, and her own social media. But the last person on our list has the most unexpected, shocking, and horrifying incidents that landed them in prison. In 2015, oh, the world was dancing to Silent Ho's hit song, Watch Me. The song paired with the massive viral dance, The Whip and the Nene. All of social media was flooded with videos of people doing the dance, with Vine and Instagram peaking. That's, that's all I remember. <laughs> I remember the dance in the song, that's it. I don't remember, I don't remember him.
popularity, Silent Hill laid the foundation for what would become extremely normal on TikTok many years later. He performed at award shows, on Nickelodeon, every talk show in America. The virality got the single to number three on the Billboard Hot 100, God. as well as 1.8 billion views on YouTube. God. Today, the record is six times platinum. Unfortunately, hip-hop dance tracks have a history of being impossible to outdo, because for every one that becomes culturally iconic, there are hundreds of cheesy failed attempts to recreate the moment. Silent Hill waited three years to drop his album Fresh Out of High School, which three failed years. to generate any buzz, and his second album went almost totally unnoticed. But before you could fully count him out, he made a decision that officially ended his career. On why did, first of all, why did bro wait three years? What? I understand one, but three? Then you like, you let all your hype die. January 21st, 2021, the 23-year-old rapper was arrested for the murder of his cousin, 34-year-old Frederick Rooks, after a shooting in DeKalb County, Georgia. Police said officers found Rooks suffering from multiple gunshot wounds at a home off of Deep Shoals Circle. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators did not have a suspect at the this time. Responding people. officers were able to obtain video from the security cameras of multiple residents and later identified Hawk, or Silento, as the gunman. Silento was arrested February 1st, 2021, and then later indicted by a Georgia grand jury on four felonies. God. One count of malice murder, one count of felony murder, God. aggravated assault, and gun possession during the commission of a felony. As of now, the court has deemed Silent Hill unfit for the safety of the public and will remain incarcerated until further trial. Since the trial has not started yet, we don't know how he did it, we don't know why he did it, and we don't know how long he might be in jail, but we do know boy, is that his career is officially over. That boy, that's tough. That's tough right there, boy. Golly. Well, you went from well, you went from getting one point some billion views, six times platinum. Number I, what what number on the billboard? Number three? Did that say number three? You went from all that fame and exposure to ruining all that by killing your cousin. Wow. I low key, I I remember that now that he uh that he brought it back to my memory, but uh. I low-key forgot about that nigga, bro. Like, real talk. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I might watch this. This might be a good one right here. But uh, y'all let me know if y'all if y'all, if y'all rock, rock with these type of videos, man. Uh, people were sending it to me, I guess, after Dante reacted to it. So uh, I decided to check it out because I like the, the title caught my attention. So I know y'all will rock with it, man. Y'all let me know. In the comments, what y'all who 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 had the worst fall off? Well, who ruined their career? Well, the last nigga definitely was the worst, but which situation y'all think was worse other than the murder? I think uh I ain't even gonna lie, I think the baby's the worst though. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause he 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 could have just said, put your phones up in the air and that's it. But y'all let me know, man. I'm gone.